let e1 be the eccentricity of the hyperbola x square upon 16 minus y square upon 9 is equal to 1 and e2 be the eccentricity of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b which passes through the foci of the hyperbola if e1 e2 is equal to 1 then the length of the chord of ellipse parallel to the x-axis and passing through 0 comma 2 is so let us consider the hyperbola of the form x square by a1 square minus y square by b1 square is equal to 1 so that we have eccentricity e1 is equal to c1 upon a1 and we have the relation c1 square is equal to a1 square plus b1 square so here a1 is equal to a1 square is 16 so 16 plus b1 square is 9 so c1 square is equal to 25 so c1 we can take it as a 5 so that foci of hyperbola can be taken as plus or minus c1 comma 0 that is plus or minus 5 comma 0 and which is given that the foci of the hyperbola the ellipse is passing through so ellipse is passing through passing through the points plus or minus 5 comma 0 so we can consider that this ellipse is having where a is greater than b so the point is 5 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 5 comma 0 are the vertices of an ellipse so we can say a is equal to 5 so when a is equal to 5 and the eccentricity e2 is equal to so we have the relation e1 e2 is equal to 1 so e1 is equal to and we got e1 is equal to here c1 upon that is 5 divided by a1 a1 is equal to 4 so 5 by 4 into e2 is equal to 1 so e2 is equal to 4 upon 5 and which is equal to c upon a so here a is equal to 5 so which implies that c is equal to 4 so the ellipse equation c square is equal to a square minus b square so we can write 16 is equal to 25 minus b square which implies b square is equal to 25 minus 16 that is 9 so b is equal to 3 so we can consider here the b value 0 comma 3 and this is 0 comma minus 3 so the ellipse equation we can conclude the ellipse equation as x square upon a square that is 25 min plus y square upon b square is equal to 9 is equal to 1 and the and the length of the chord which is drawn parallel to the x-axis and passing through the point 0 comma 2 so passing through the point 0 comma 2 so we can draw a line parallel to it which cuts the ellipse at the point so let us substitute y is equal to 2 here so we have x square by 25 plus y square that is 4 divided by 9 is equal to 1 so x square upon 25 is equal to 1 minus 4 upon 9 that is 5 by 9 or x square is equal to 25 5 times 125 divided by 9 so which implies x is equal to plus or minus root of 25 is 5 root 5 divided by 3 since the x coordinate is here 5 root 5 so we can say here this is 5 root 5 and here it is negative 5 root 5 so the length of the chord therefore length of chord we can write it as 2 times of x that is 10 root 5 divided by 3 so 10 root 5 upon 3 which is option d so we can go with an option d